Yo, what's up guys, it's Magnus. I wanted to take some time today to go over Kyrian Soulbinds and Conduits. Uh, I recently did the same thing for Vinthyr because I got a lot of questions about it. Previously I did this at the start of the expansion, but you know some things have changed since then. Um, primarily Master and Commander, the Women Rally talent being nerfed. So that's kind of changed how things would uh, go for Kyrian really. Uh, it doesn't really change a lot, but it definitely changes some things, and a lot of getting, I've been getting asked a lot about it, so I thought I'd just go over it. So, um, First and foremost, if you're playing Pelagos, obviously Combat Meditation is really good. Just the mastery that it gives you is just free damage. You know, It increases your bleed, it makes you do more damage to the target. Um, you know, Mastery is not a bad stat, it's not something you prioritize, but it's not bad, you know. So this is pretty good. Um, I still like to go Focusing Mantra. Not that it does anything. I shouldn't even say that I like going Focusing Mantra. Like, I like going uh, the Potency Condo, right? So here I like to go Mortal Combo. I'll just put everything at 226, even though I don't have a 226 on live, but that's what I like to do. I like the extra Potency Conduit. Um, you know, the File of Patience has some value. It's not overly valuable. Um, you really only get one a game anyway, so. Uh, sometimes I do like to take it. Um, whenever my teammates are kind of getting trained down, I like to have uh, the extra potency or the extra finesse conduit. Like inspiring presence took a hit whenever master and command took a hit, so it's not as value, but it, but it's still quite good. So if you end up wanting to go file a patience, um, you know you feel that you actually need that extra like slower pace deal, but the extra percentage on it. Maybe if you're fighting like a slower rot style team, something not as bursty. And you could probably take that, but overall it's like, I still think that the extra potency condo just kind of outweighs that. Um, here I like to always take Stalwart. I think Stalwart Guardian is your best conduit by far. Um, or your best uh, endurance conduit by far. Uh, you know, just reducing the cooldown of your Dabba Sword is absolutely massive. You know, every single trinket nearly, if you're playing like, for example, if you play like human, and then you also equip an, a, a medallion versus like a setup based comp. You can trinket, uh, you can trinket parry like every single trinket. It's pretty good. But Soul Guardian is just, in my opinion, the best. Obviously, neither of these things matter at all. Like they're completely inconsequential. Like they don't do anything. I just take this to get like some extra, like you know, mats or something to like sell in the auction house. Um, here, I always like to put Crash here. I think Crash is your best potency conduit. And also, like, if you do opt out of playing Focusing Mantra, or really just the potency conduit, I shouldn't say Focusing Mantra, the potency conduit, to go over here, you don't lose your best potency conduit. So uh, that's what I like to do. Um, I swap between these two trees depending on, like, what teams that I'm fighting are doing. Obviously, Endurance Conduits are going to help you, and Finesse Conduits are going to help your teammates. So Root of Vitality is actually not that bad. Um, it just adds a percentage or an extra percentage of your damage to your active ignore pain. So whenever you're getting attacked, if you can stay in the fight, dump some rage, you know, it's actually kind of nice. Or not even dump some rage, just do some damage, you know. You can kind of, it kind of helps you stay in. I'm um, here, I like to just go safeguard, um, just in case I need it. I actually kind of like safeguard a lot. Um, if there was like a baseline finesse conduit in this tree, like not up here, just like a baseline one like here or like here or like somewhere, you know, I would probably run safeguard as my baseline finesse conduit. I think it's the best finesse conduit now. But I like to put it down here just because I don't want to have to lose a potency conduit to play it. But I'm not too pressed about losing an endurance conduit to play it. Obviously let go of the pass is just like passive magical damage reduction. Um, there was versatility, it was a lot nicer. Well, I mean, that Pelagos is the best tree by far. But it's just kind of passive damage damage reduction now. You know, it's chill. It's nothing great. Not overwhelmingly good. But, you know, it's good. I like it. But it's not, like, insane, you know? The real reason that you ever go carrying anyway is just for the spear. Like, the file is okay from Steward. It's okay. It's like a, it's like a hellstone once a game, but, you know... It's okay. The real reason you go to is for Spear. Spear's really nice, you know, it gives you rage, gives you playmaking potential, setup potential, peel potential. Um, you know, it's just, it's good, it's nice. Um, another thing that I like to do whenever I play Kyrian, uh, I don't ever play Clea, by the way. Like, I filled, out, I filled out this tree, you can see I filled it out before, like, to answer questions, like some. Uh, 
in hindsight, this isn't even what I would do. I must have filled this out forever ago because I would I would put Mortal Combo down here and crash up here. But Clea is not good. I don't think I would, I don't think I'll play Clea ever. The only time I would ever play Clea is in like a tournament to get a Senate file versus an Assassination Rogue. If I knew I was gonna fight an Assassination Rogue, that's the only scenario. Um, Forge Light. You can see I filled out history before too. I don't know why the um, Wild Head Calculator thing kind of does this, but. Yeah, this is like a pretty accurate way that, actually no, it's not, you can just tell like, because I used to think Mortal Combo was insane, and now I think that Crash is much better, Mortal Combo proc rate's kind of low, and my Mortal Combo is like only a 200 on live, but I guess I can go through and rechange this, I don't care, I don't care that it's messed up, but here I would actually just put uh, Crash, the Ramparts instead, I've done there, and I would get the Forge Light filter, the knock is okay on Forge Light, I, and, 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 and just so, like, I kind of didn't touch on it much, like, I would only play Forge Light into, like, Rogue Mage, or, like, Jungle Cleave, or something that's, like, going me, and it's primarily setup-based. A lot of Jungle Cleaves that I've been fighting lately just opt to train me, because Warrior Utility is so good at keeping his teammates alive, and that Warrior himself is more susceptible to dying, so. A lot of people just, like, end up going me, so I've, I've, I've tried Forge Light a couple times, and I kind of like it, um... You know, you're not going to die in stun, really, because whenever you get to 35%, it's going to auto-file. It's, it's pretty good. That, I mean, that's pretty nice. Um, so, I like that. I don't like the knock ever. Um, here, I still, I don't, eh, I can't tell, like, it's not that I can't tell, but I don't know, like, I don't think that I like Inspiring Presence here. But it's not, it's not going to matter, because the reason you go this tree uh, into these setup base comps is sparkling anyway. So... You don't really care much as inspired like to be inspired like like inspiring presence here is good. Um, neither of these things matter. I'm just gonna click a random one so it stops flashing, and then this one starts flashing. Nice. Um, I think I would just leave inspiring presence here, even with the short rally nerf. Like, if you're fighting those setup based comps, they primarily play with disc priest. So whenever I fight those setup based comps with a disc priest healer, I actually opt out of taking sharpen blade because most of their healing is like shields. And the set of base comps, you just want triple defensive PvP taunts anyway. So I actually end up still running short rally versus them. So I would, I would leave this here. It doesn't really matter. Like, you only have two good finesse conduits anyway. If I didn't take it here, I'm going to take it here anyway. Obviously, uh, Stalwart's your best endurance. And then, um, I don't think that you would ever really play Soul Steel Clamps or Hammer of Genesis. I don't think Hammer of Genesis does anything. Like, you're not... You're not going to get five stacks in, in a game of threes and maintain it anyway, because there's only three people to attack, so... I guess if there's, like, pets, you could maybe do it, but, I mean, even then, it's, like, taking a finesse conduit, or a, an endurance conduit, which is, like... It, it, brutal Vitality is okay, but it's not, like, overwhelmingly good. To get, like, base on haste, it's, like, it's definitely not worth it. Like, the only reason you would play this tree is to live anyway, right? So I just, I just opt to take Safeguard, and then the Sparkling Drift Globe Core. Um... I like this a lot versus like Rogue Mage and like I said, jungle and comps that go me. It doesn't put your stun on DR either, so if you stun them, you kind of eh, you stun them, you come out of the you know the stun DR that would like maybe kill you. You can just like stun them instantly out of this as well. So it's kind of nice. And like if they trinket it and you live, like you get through their their trinkets and, th and things like that too. It's pretty good. But the only two trees I would ever really play are Forge Light or Pelagos. Um, I primarily play Pelagos and Macarian Wear. I've been trying Prime Light sometimes. Um, I've tried it, but because we're now only renowned 31 or 30 uh, at the recording of this video, um, you know, Tuesday, which is actually tomorrow, because um, today's February the 9th, well, I'll actually be able to get this and try it. So then I can really try it a lot more on ladder. I've done it some. Uh, I did it some on beta, tested it some back then. I kind of I, I like this though versus the set of base comps. I, I think it is quite good. Um, and to kind of touch on like when to play Kyrian. Uh, a lot of people, you know, kind of can't figure out uh, when they want to play Kyrian, or not even Kyrian. I don't know why I said Kyrian, just uh, Forge Light or Prime. Uh, like, I would only play this, again, just to reiterate, I would only play Forge Light versus Rogue Mage and, like, Jungle. Um, like, Thug Cleave, you know, like, Rogue Hunter. I don't ever see that, though, but just comps that are going to train me and try and kill me in Suns. It's the only time I play it. A lot of people just like this tree in general. I don't like Brawn. Uh, I don't think it's good at all. I didn't touch on Braun earlier. Braun just takes way too long to get into the fight. Once he's there, he stays for 30 seconds, but he doesn't really do anything. 
you can kind of feel the power increase from combat meditation the second that you press it you know because obviously you just get you know five percent or six percent more damage whatever the, whatever the number is in pvp i think it's around five or six percent but you can tell instantly you can kind of maintain that damage increase for a little bit too and obviously like you still just get the passive magic reduction too uh, but all in all though that's just kind of like how i would structure uh, my carrying tree um soon I, I i'm gonna make a video very soon about uh you know which which legendaries to pick on on each covenant um, when to pick them i'm also going to make a video about which you know which covenants i think people should pick depending on how they want to play the game because i don't think that one covenant is overwhelmingly better than the next i think it's just personal preference on what you really want to do what you want to do in the game and what your priorities are in the game so um you know for me i have a kyrian warrior and a venthyr warrior I, I do both i play both depending on what i'm playing you know so and, and that's how i've kind of liked it so i'm going to make like kind of a video about my thoughts on that and really how i would uh you know structure not even structure because like these videos are kind of like the how to structure if you do pick it like just how i would kind of what the, the things that i would think of or the things that would be like you know at the front of my mind um, whenever i'm making my decision on which covenant to pick